Hello friends and audience members who may become friends. Today I'm going to give you a brief little tour of a project, a work in progress that I'm doing. My friend Christian is developing a video game called Neo Athlon inspired by early 3D racing games, which you can wishlist on Steam. I recommend you do that. Anyway, Christian's commissioned me to do some music for him. This cue is inspired by Josh Mansell, Stuart Copeland. Basically the spec is sound like an early PlayStation game, which is not too hard to do. I've put my own little spin on it, making things a bit more lo-fi. In this project, I'm using a lot of Mellotron sounds, particularly from Mtron Pro from GeForce. A lot of the sounds you hear in this piece are from the Dustotron expansion by Sound Dust, specifically the Groove Glitch 1 menu. I've just assigned them to different tracks to apply different effects and processing to them. We have here our main drum groove. Very fun, very straightforward, a bit of swagger, as with all of these drums in the glitch groove menu. Then we have some drum effects. I'm using Rift to provide some phasing and modulated distortion, a little bit of bit reduction, and as I said again, phaser without, sounds like this. A fine loop on its own with... Very fun. I've assigned a number of instruments to the so-called hype bus, which is just smashing the heck out of some of them with Shapeshifter from Aberrant DSP. It's a great little compressor. It does things no other compressor does. If you've got a few dollars to spare for Aberrant DSP, highly recommend. I've called this track Gamelan, but it's not really Gamelan. It is found percussion, probably. There's not a whole lot of information about the individual kit pieces used in these loops, but it does sound very cool. And the delay feeding into then the Logic Stock Bit Crusher, fading into digital oblivion. Love that sound. I use that probably too much, but it's way fun. Here's another loop from the Sound Dust expansion. This is what I've called the bass idiophone. Sounds like this. There's lots of static, lots of little found sound noises in all of these loops, as you noticed, and it kind of makes the vibe, if you will. I've taken a leaf from Mark Mothersbaugh's book and doubled the bass with a sample of my own voice. And the Hofner violin bass from the Mtron Pro Factory samples. So altogether, the low end sounds like this. Very fun. I've also got a combination of mandolin and banjo tremolo. This occurs at the beginning and the end of the piece in order to give Christian a kind of seamless loop that he can work with. The 50s stack is probably the most Josh Mansell thing in this piece. It is vibraphone and surf guitar with tremolo. This is also Mtron Pro, just a stock patch. <laughs> Sounds pretty good. Last but certainly not least, I brought up a clavinet patch on my Nord stage, added some distortion and auto wah. It sounds like this dry. And with a little bit of Logic's stock pitch shifter, it gets more lush, sits nicer in the background for the rest of the track elements to come through. Alrighty, that's the end of my quick breakdown for today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, let me know. If you didn't enjoy it, please also let me know. I would love to make content that is interesting and engaging for all kinds of people, not just professional musicians in one discipline, but hobbyists and people who are trying out new things as well. Thanks again and have a great day.